This is Banjo and today I'm going over how to set up a locked or unlocked vehicle as well as change the status of a lock using a trigger. For the first example I'll place down a player unit and then I'll place down an empty hunter and I'll set the lock status to locked for the player. This will set up the vehicle so that the player unit cannot enter the vehicle. With the unit placed and the vehicle locked, let's take a look in game. The first thing you'll notice is that I can still take inventory and rearm from the vehicle. Also, I can't access any of the driver, passenger, or gunner seats. Now taking a look back in the editor, I'll teach you how to set it up so that a trigger can unlock or lock a vehicle. This can also be done on waypoint activation or through any other form of activation. For the example, I'm using an AAF Strider with two extra men loaded into the cargo positions. They'll disembark midway down this road and enter the town, but in the process they'll lock their vehicle so they don't leave an unlocked vehicle on the road. Setting up the lock command is done by entering the unit name, followed by lock, followed by the state, true being locked, false being unlocked. The simplest way to set this up is to enter the lock command into the on activation field of one of the waypoints. This can be done using trigger on activation as well. As the units disembark from the vehicle and enter the town, they'll lock the vehicle. We're able to see that much like when I set up the Hunter, this vehicle you can access its inventory but you can't access any of the driver, passenger, or gunner seats. And to alter the status to unlocked later during the mission, just be sure to include another trigger that sets the status to false.